Here are the tools needed to replace the pistons, valves, and seals on an RCAM pump. Here are the kits and their included parts. Both the discharge and inlet valves on this pump are the same, so I will only show you one set. To remove the six valve caps on the manifold, use a 17 mm hex socket. Clean the valve caps and sockets of any thread adhesive. Leftover debris can damage the pump. To remove the valves, use a pair of pliers and grasp the plastic valve cage, then pull straight out. Use a pick to remove the O-rings still in the pump. Place the new O-rings flat into the bottom of the pump. Place the new valves on top of the O-rings. Make sure they are properly seated. To put the valve cap securely back on, you will need a drop of thread adhesive or Teflon tape on each cap. Torquing to 217 inch pounds will keep the valve caps on tight. To change the pistons and seals, start by removing the 8 manifold bolts using a 5mm hex socket. The head of the pump is small enough that it can be wiggled off by hand. Start by using a pair of valve pliers to take out the guides and seals. Be careful not to damage the inside of the pump when taking them out. The first item to be replaced are the support rings. They go in the pump flat side down. On top of that should go the high pressure seals. Its curved side should fit over the support ring. Next comes the front piston guides with its curved side down. To replace the seals and backup rings in the rear piston guide, gently take them out with a pick. Then take off the O-rings on the guide. To reassemble the piston guides, put the backup ring onto the back of the seal. Press the guide into the seal so the backup ring doesn't fall out of place. Put O-rings onto the newly assembled guides.
push the guides back into the pump. To replace the pistons, use a 13 mm socket to take off the piston nut. Twist and pull the old pistons off of the rod. Once off, clean the piston nuts and threads for any debris. Leftover debris can damage the pump. Push the new pistons onto the rod. Put the copper washers back over the pistons. Add a drop of thread adhesive or Teflon tape onto the thread. Put the piston nuts back on and torque them to 106 inch pounds. You can put the manifold on by hand, but make sure it's on all the way. Install the head bolts and torque the 225 inch pounds using an alternating pattern to evenly distribute pressure.